Hey guys, it's the Halloween channel. Today, or uh, yesterday actually, we started our Christmas countdown for 2019. Now, I'm gonna do a Christmas countdown every year. I'm gonna upload um, every day uh, from December 20th until December 25th. And the videos won't all be Christmas videos. Um, there's no particular uh, theme to all the videos in a row. They'll just be um, a way for you to see daily uploads. So I don't only upload daily um, during the Halloween season. I wanted to do it for my Christmas countdown as well. So um, yeah, that's something to look forward to. You might be wondering what kind of content um, I would post uh, when it's not the Halloween season. Um, I might uh, do some reviews or unboxings and stuff like that. So, um, just uh, new props that I got. Uh, yesterday's video was my first uh, Spirit Halloween haul. Um, I got a bunch of little mini things like gravestones and door knockers. And then I got uh, Cerberus. So, um, yeah, you'll see his videos pretty soon. I think I'll start them on uh, December 25th. So my last upload for the Christmas countdown will be um, probably his demo or something. Sorry, my finger got in the way there. And then after that, we'll do the unboxing and stuff and the review. So today I wanted to give you a daytime tour of our Christmas display for 2019 to start off the Christmas countdown. Actually, no, yesterday I started the Christmas countdown. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go from left to right. And uh, starting off here, we have, uh, uh, we have a lot of blow-ups. First thing we have is um, a Star Wars collection of blow-ups. And we have Yoda here. Yoda is about six feet tall. He's on a stack of presents. He's holding a little candy cane. Um... And he's got his wrinkles and stuff. I think he looks pretty funny and cute. He's staked down with the wires. Um, there's a lot of like wires that are staking stuff down, um, but people can't really see it in the um, in the nighttime. Right next to Yoda, we have Darth Vader. I know Darth Vader is on the dark side, but um, the light side, I guess, and the dark side are um, they're not gonna fight each other because um, just because it's Christmas they're all getting in the Christmas spirit there's a little Merry Christmas tag on Darth Vader's present that he's holding and he's about uh, five feet tall next to Darth Vader we have um, an ad at blow up and he's not that Christmassy but he does have some uh, lights up there which do light up so that's pretty cool let me just go under him. Uh, by the way, he's nine feet tall. Uh, let's go under. And uh, here, um, there's like net lights, multicolored. Um, you can't see them that well in the daytime. Here is some leftover spider web that we actually used for the um, haunt uh, for the skeleton and spider web hallway. But it kind of looks like snow when it's um, not all stretched out. Um, and we put blue lights under it, so it looks like glowing snow. Here's some LED multicolored lights, um, which look really cool. Um, here's some more down there as well. So yeah, that's that little section. Oh, and on the window, there's some lights too, going around the window. The last Star Wars blow up we have is a three feet tall BB-8 blow up. He's really cute. Um, he doesn't even need any stakes because he's so round and he blows up really well. So we could use his stakes for other blow ups and stuff. He has a pretty good design. He has a little Santa hat and uh, some holly. So that's a little Star Wars collection. Um, and I do want to go to the door because that has lights around it. We've got some multicolored lights around the front door. Okay, so that's that. But um, here we have a 10 foot tall Santa blow up. Now this is not mine, it's my friend's, but uh, they're letting me and my family use it because they're flying to a different state, um, a different country actually. So um, just for these days before Christmas, um, they're letting us use it um, and they just gave us the box. So I just put it up today 
Um, it needs a lot of stakes, but it works great. It blows up correctly. I tested it and everything. And then over here, we have a five feet tall Grinch um, with a Santa hat on and a sweater that says naughty or nice. He's got his hands at his side. And then there's also a five foot wiener dog, um, five feet long, not tall. Um, he's like three feet tall, I think. He's got his, um, and this is so fun to play with. Like on all of them, they have these big like baubles on the end of their Santa hats. But this one's definitely the biggest. I mean, it's huge. It's like the size of his tongue. It's, I mean, like the size of his holly or what, I don't know, whatever. He has a nice um, Santa suit on. Uh, he's got a wagging tail. It's not really wagging, but a nice uh, square belt buckle and some weird lights around him. I don't know, I might move these. Let's go around the car. I don't know why I did that. Here is a um, snow globe blow up with a little snowman family in snide. We, wait, in snide? I meant to say we got a snowman family inside. We have a little dad who's dressed in green, a mom who's dressed in pink, and a baby who's dressed in blue. Blue is honestly my favorite color, and that's why all of the blow up is blue pretty much. We got the blue background, the blue base with let it snow, and the blue baby, and all these blue lights um, going around the roof. I don't know why we chose blue lights to go around the roof, but that's all we had, so sorry if it's weird, because everything else, literally everything else is multicolor and it's just blue. So yeah, um, we have this tied to the fence right here. It's going around that gate, which leads to the side yard where the haunt is gonna take place next year. Around the garage, we have icicles who are, they're kind of drooping down, which kind of looks stupid, but here was all the extension cords and stuff, which looks really dumb, but you can't see it very well in the night, so um, nobody pays attention to that. Here's a gingerbread man with an upside down candy cane. Come on, get, get that candy cane up right. Well, this is as good as I could do. Oh, that's better. So yeah, this is our gingerbread. Um, he doesn't stay up, so we have to like put his arm around this thing, this little hook. And by the way, uh, right here where the gingerbread is, this is where Untimely Death is gonna go next year, so. And then Jumping Spider is going to go right here where this weird, stupid Christmas tree is. But the gingerbread is an assortment of colors. He's five feet tall, but it's kind of leaning, so he looks more like four feet. Um, he's got blue, 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 green, red, white, 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 white wild white. He's got nice little rosy cheeks. Poke, poke, you like that, sir? I hate you. Fine, you're rude. We have some big bulb pathway markers. That sounds really wrong, but we also have these um, smaller bulb pathway liners, I guess. Pfft. I'm sorry, uh, I don't know what they're called. Just lights aligning with the, the sidewalk. I'll stop talking now. Um, we did get a little bit of snow and sprinkle it on top of here. Most of it has disappeared, but you can kind of see it. Uh, there's some blinking lights uh, going all the way from right there to here and then back to here. And then I used some PVC pipes we have. Um, we're going to use a bunch of PVC pipes for the haunt next year, but um, two of them I used to form a Christmas tree. It looks pretty dumb, but whatever, I don't really care. It's got some white lights around it. Um, fun fact, these are the only white lights we have in our Christmas front yard. So, um, it doesn't really fit in, but whatever, I don't, I don't care. Here's some little twinkling lights. If you don't know what it means that they're twinkling, um, it means that uh, some of them, like uh, this one, for instance, uh, just like... A couple of them uh, are blinking, but most of them just uh, stay um, steady on. But a couple of them, like this one, this one, I don't know if you can see that, and a few others as well. 
So yeah, those are those uh, twinkling lights, I like to call them. Okay, so that was the daytime tour of the... Oh. I just dropped my freaking camera. That was um, our daytime tour of the Christmas display for 2019. I hope you liked it. Tomorrow you will see the third episode of the Christmas countdown for 2019. Uh, by the way, before I go, I want to shout out my Instagram at the underscore Halloween channel. You can get some good content on me from there. Um, I post a lot more on there than I do on YouTube, so, um, it'd be great if you could follow me on there. Um, I would love it. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.